This week, I want to talk about a product called Happio and what the difference is between it and other internet solutions. So let's get into it. Last week we spoke about Google Sites and how you could use it as a very basic internet solution or website um, for your business. And it's an excellent start for those of you who haven't uh, used an internet before or haven't uh, set one up for your business and you're just looking for a way to pull documents and calendar and things like that into a, a single place. But often organizations as they grow, they move beyond it and they have um, more complex requirements. And I wanna talk about the difference between a traditional internet solution and some of these new digital workspace solutions like Happio uh, and some of the excellent benefits that they have. So, as always, I have my screen recording uh, and I'm gonna jump straight into it. I access Happio in a very similar way to how I would access some of the other apps. I tap on my little waffle and I click on the Happio and it opens up a new link and logs me into the Happio solution using my um, Google account uh, for authentication. I've set up a little demo page here uh, for us to uh, see the Happio digital workspace. So again, very similar to Google Sites, I can embed things like videos, uh, I've embedded a, a Twitter stream here. This is actually an embed of a channel and channels is for me one of the biggest areas within Happio that, that differentiates it from other products. I'm gonna talk about that later on. I've got a project uh, folder embedded here, again, very similar to the Google Sites. I've got a Google Maps embed here and I've got a Google Calendar embedded here, again, similar to the other one. And now I've got links to some other pages. So up on the top left-hand corner, I've got three areas. I've got pages, I've got channels, and I've got people. On the right-hand side, I've got a search bar that allows me to search all of the content, not just within Happio, but actually across all of my uh, G Suite applications. I've got a little notification bar, and then I've got my little launch bar as well. And um, what's interesting about the launch bar, incidentally, is that you can not only have uh, Google applications in here, but admins can add other applications that the organization uses. So a great way to have a single place for your, um, your team members and your employees to access all of the, the uh, applications within the business. So back to our homepage um, and, and just having a look at some of the sub pages here, I can go into the training one and we can see here again, I can have a Google form embedded and I can fill this form out directly um, if I wanted to and I could submit that um, embedded form if I wanted. We've also got a little onboarding page as well and the same, we've got a, a form embedded and we've got uh, some information on, on another channel and, and a form embedded at the bottom. So again, very, very similar to the pages piece uh, to, to Google Sites. You can get into a lot more in depth with, with, the, with the pages in, in Happio. So you can, you get a lot more flexibility, but it's very similar I find to Google Sites in terms of that sort of drag and drop scenario. So I'm not gonna get into the editing here, but it's very, very similar. And if you're familiar with Google Sites, you'll find this fairly easy to, to use. So channels is the social element. And this for me is really what just sets it a, 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 a aside from, from other solutions. So I've got my stream, which is um, very similar to, um, a, a, it's basically a combination of all of the channels that I follow, but, it, but it's very, very similar. All the channel areas are very, very similar to sort of a social media stream. And so in here, I can see all of the channels that, that I follow. So there's a training updates channel, there's a sales team channel, and I can see there's a new update from Sandra here and a new update from Lauren. And there's also an announcement here. And announcements are quite interesting because uh, managers who are allowed to, to kind of make announcements or, or um, team leaders and executives and stuff can make these announcements and you can actually mark that you've read it. So if I go into the company channel here, I can see that there's an announcement being made uh, by Sandra and, and I, uh, as one of the employees, can actually say that I've seen that and say, yes, I've read it. And then from her end, she can see the number of people that have marked it as read. So uh, it's just a great way for ensuring that the message has been received. For those of us in the internal communications game, we know that message sent does not always equal message received. So uh, a, a very important one there. Now, what's interesting about the channels is they're not just a social media feed. So I've gone into a specific channel now, which is the company-wide one, and this is kind of a default one. And I can see all of the members here 
Uh, I can also add, because I'm a, a channel manager, I can add links for people and important documents down the, the right hand side. But there's also a bunch of other uh, little tabs here. There's also files and calendar and hangouts and analytics and settings. And so I can click on the files and you can actually have all of the files for that particular team in one place. Um, and I think what I might do is just jump into the sales team one to show you this in more detail. So we've got the kind of social media element where Sandra's put in a, an update here. She needs a, a, a help with, with something specific. I've got upcoming events on the right hand side. I've got links to additional things like Damson's training site and I can click on that and will actually bring me to that page. Uh, and also links to our CRM system if I want. And then we've got some important project documents like project proposals. We've got um, customer surveys and feedback um, forms and things like that. If I go into the files, these are all the files for the sales team, again, brought into one place. I can see on the right hand side all the activity for this. So again, allowing me to get up to date with my team really, really quickly, although it's primarily me. Um, if I go into the calendar, I can see uh, the calendar of all of the, the sales team members. So again, making it easy for, for me to, uh, to see who, who's available at, at specific times. And I can toggle any of these on or off if I want. On the Hangout, this is like a perpetual Hangout. And I can actually create a video call from this and it will video call all of the team. So again, making it easy for, for me to uh, collaborate with my team and just jump into a, in, in, into a Hangout really, really quickly. Um, as a manager, I can view some of the analytics. Again, this is a, a test account, so, so obviously not, 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 uh, not used that much. And then I can decide as a, as a sort of an admin, which areas of the channel I want to turn on and off. And you can give other people access to this. So it doesn't have to just be administrators. And that's what I love about Happio. It's a sort of a distributed model. So you can say to a team leader, hey, you've got access to that channel. You can set channels up if you want. You could have a channel for something like a sales team, but you could also have a channel for like an internal basketball team within the company or, you know, um, maybe people that like going running in the morning and they want to be able to uh, collaborate on that and, and organize uh, around that. Then we've got the people section. The people section is, is an area that is interesting to a lot of customers because having that sort of a single directory of users is, is often a challenge within organizations and it's something that customers ask us about all the time. And so the people section actually allows me to run a search, for example, for an individual and I, I can get some information on them. So if I do a little search for Sandra, uh, I've updated her information, so I'm hoping it's synced now. Um, I can see here that um, I've got her email address. I can have a look at her schedule because she shared her calendar with me. She's not a member of any groups and I can see the sort of organizational structure. Now, unfortunately, it hasn't updated for me. I'm going to have to go into Donald's one and see if I can view it from there. Yes, I can. So from, from within Donald's one, uh, I've set it to sync and it pulls this information from uh, G Suite and I'd added some extra information in here, but it hasn't synced yet, unfortunately. But you can kind of get an idea here of the organizational structure. So when it syncs and when the data is correct in Google, it will, uh, Happio will pull that information in and actually allow you to see the hierarchy um, of all of the managers and things like that. And, and so that's excellent again in large organizations where you can just get an idea of the company if you're new to the business uh, or if you're, you're trying to get in contact with, with somebody. And again, up the top, I can message Donald, I could video call him, I could create an event or I could email him straight from here. So making it very, very easy for me. In this example here, I've done a search for sales and it's found uh, all of the items for sales in pages. So it's got the training DC one and the training one in channels. It's brought up the, the sales channel, obviously, that we were in earlier. Under people, nobody has the word sales mentioned in their, um, in their profiles. On the posts, it's brought up a post where I've mentioned the word sales. Files, uh, it's going to bring up any files that mention the word sales in it. So this is actually searching my Google Drive and, and the Google Drive of the uh, of the company as well, which is great. And also, it's going to be able to search my emails and calendars and sites, which is amazing. So it's giving you a single place uh, to search all of these. So this is actually searching within my, um, my own emails. And if I wanted, I could click on those um, and bring them up. Calendar, there isn't anything that mentions sales and sites, there isn't anything that mentions sales. So again, just giving you that ability to, to search across the organization, which is hugely valuable. I'm just gonna show you quickly the uh, updates. So I can see the updates in here. I've already read these are the ones from, from Sandra, but I could click on the one from Lauren, it would actually bring me to it. 
Um, and the same with, with Sandra's one, I could, I could uh, be brought into that. And I can interact with it like I would within social media. So I could like it, I could comment it, on it and say, hey, thanks for, oh, sorry. Uh, hey, thanks for sharing. Uh, incidentally, within here, I can add an emoji, very important, a GIF if I wanted to, um, or I could attach a document um, within, within Google Drive if I thought that would be important. Um, and I can click on this PDF if I wanted and, and actually be able to read it from within here. And what's interesting about this is I'm actually looking at the document, um, but it's embedded with, within here. So if I go into the files area for a second and just open up uh, a Google Doc, you'll see that I, I can open it within, um, it would actually bring me to, to Google so that I can go in and, and edit it. But if I wanted, I can actually sort of preview it from, from within here. And if I have edit rights to it, I can actually um, edit it as well. So when you embed a document w within a page, you can give people the ability to, to edit it. And again, just stay within the system, um, which is fantastic. So that's just a, a super quick overview of Happio. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of quick overview of the Happio solution. I'm hoping to compare it to some other products within the marketplace and just see how it stacks up against that. Um, as I said, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big step up from something like Google Sites, but Google Sites is a great starter uh, for, for a lot of smaller organizations, maybe that um, it's their first kind of step into the internet space. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. What's your favorite internet or digital workspace solution? Maybe you could let us know in the comments below.